Hello, welcome back to Becoming Catholic, or welcome if this is your first time here. Thanks for joining me. Uh, my name is Nate. I am a Protestant youth pastor who has recently become intellectually convinced of the Catholic Church and the Catholic faith, um, but I have not had many sensational, spiritual, emotional, sort of heart centered experiences that have led me to convert or become fully in communion with the Catholic Church. Um, and so this channel is just me kind of documenting my journey of opening the door for the Lord to move. I'm kind of immersing myself in Catholic uh, doctrine and in Catholic practices and Catholic culture. So today uh, we're going to have a little bit of a different video because today I am kind of piecing together my home altar. Now I've had some of these pieces for a little while, um, and but I haven't put them all together or used this space on a regular basis, and I'm really excited to, to share it with you. So um, first, let me just give you a, a little taste. I'll show you where I'm going to be putting it. It's You're right now in the door frame to my office. This is the door. So um, it's right behind this door. So let me just show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is the spot that I'll be putting my altar in. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So like right behind the door. Uh, right next to the closet. It's actually a little bit smaller than it looks, but um, yeah, that is where the altar is going. Okay, so that is the space that we're going to be putting this altar in. And uh, so I have a few pieces I just want to show you. So the first one is is this. Um, I have two of these. Um, these, I'm not really sure what stone these are made out of, but these are incense stick holders. So um, I don't know if you can see, there's a little hole at the top and uh, you just put an incense stick in and you light it. So the reason I have two of these and the reason I have these because they look a little new agey, I get it. Um, but the reason I have these is because I often like to have uh, incense burning while I pray. I like to have frankincense and myrrh burning at the same time, but in, in two separate places. Um, just kind of burning. I like to see the smoke. I like to smell the frankincense and myrrh. It kind of puts me in a place of prayer, kind of brings my mind into the, the space that I should be in. So I'm going to put these um, on either side of the altar. Um, I also have this teddy bear. You have probably seen this teddy bear uh, up on the window behind my chair in previous videos. It has not been in the altar space. Um, but so backstory, if you watched my first video, uh, link is is up there in the info card, also going to be in the description. But if you watched my first video, you would know that part of my testimony when I first got saved, when I became a Christian and entered the Protestant church, um, part of that story was I was 15 years old and a kid in my class died on an ATV accident. Um, go, go watch the video if you want to hear the whole story. But so this uh, teddy bear was made out of his clothes. Um, and so I always keep this teddy bear around and whatever spaces I use regularly to spend time with the Lord is just kind of a reminder of the very beginning when I really started to, to seek the Lord. And when I had my first uh, revelation, or at that time, I would have called it an epiphany. Um, and so this is just a reminder of like the beginning of my journey, where it all started, uh, where the Lord really started to, to bring me uh, close to him. So I like keeping this in the space that I'm praying because I like to look at it when I'm praying. And then finally, for items I'm going to be putting on the altar, I have uh, this Arma Christi crucifix. Um, now, if you're not familiar with the Arma Christi crucifix, uh, basically, it's a crucifix. It's got Jesus hanging on a cross, but it's got all this extra stuff, and all this extra stuff are symbolic of moments that led up to the crucifixion and that immediately followed the crucifixion. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a ladder on it, there's a lantern, there's the sponge on a hyssop branch, there is the, the pincers or pliers that would have been used to take the nails out of his hands, there's the, the crow, or the, the rooster that crowed um, when Peter denied Jesus, uh, there's the dice which represents um, the gambling for Jesus's clothes, so there's all sorts of stuff on here. Um, <clears throat> I really like this because it, when I look at it, it doesn't just remind me of Jesus Christ on the cross. It reminds me of the entirety of Jesus's story, the entirety of the gospel, the entirety of the sacrifice that Jesus made. Because I realized that sacrifice didn't start right there at the moment that the, the nail went into his flesh, but 
there was a whole story that led up to it. And there's a whole part of the story that follows that, you know, my salvation is a part of. And so with this is there, a, there's a little stand as well as a, a top, a glass top that goes over it. So that's, that's all the stuff that's going to go on the shelves that you saw. And then finally, I, this is the coolest part, I think. Okay. Finally, this is a kneeler. So if you can't see it, this is a kneeler. I got this kneeler from uh, an, an elderly Catholic woman. She was selling it on Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid $40 for it. And uh, she got this from a Catholic church that she used to be a part of that closed down um, and joined another Catholic church that was nearby. She used this to pray on a lot. Um, she had she had an altar set up with a lot of Mary uh, statues and stuff, and that's what she used this for. Um, but what's really cool about it is it, it looks like it's one that was used in confession because this comes up. And so I have prayed on this quite a bit, actually, but it's just really cool to think that, you know, the the saving, forgiving grace of God, how much of that grace has flowed through this very spot. Um, and I'm just, I'm, I love this thing. I love having it. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't, you know, I haven't cleaned it up. I haven't done anything. So it looks exactly the way it did when I bought it. Um, I'm sure there are some things I could do and maybe should do to kind of spiff it up a little bit. But for now, this is what it looks like and this is how I'm using it. So now I'm going to put everything together. Okay, here it is. The three things that I wanted to put on it are on it. Now I have a few other things that I think would, would be cool to add. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those. Okay, so the first thing is I have this envelope holder um, with prayer hands on it, copper envelope holder, and I think this would be a really cool place. See if I can get this back in focus. Yeah, there we go. So I think this would be a cool place to put prayer requests and my own personal prayer list. Um, so I'm going to put that on that second shelf, um, which will be kind of visible. So we'll put it right in here. And then with that, I keep uh, a notebook. This, this is a new one. This is a fresh notebook. But I keep a notebook, and a lot of times I'll just write down what I feel like the Lord is telling me, either through Scripture or in prayer. And so I'm going to put this notebook in here as well. That's also, you can tear out the pages on that notebook so I can make my prayer list. With that, I will put a pencil And finally, my incense. So I just get this incense. Let me get this. So this is just, you know, the incense. If you look for incense on the internet, this is what you're going to find most likely. And so I'm just going to keep these on that second shelf as well. So it's easy to get to. All right. So there you have it. There is my home altar, my Catholic home altar. Uh, like I said, there are a few things I want to add. One of those things is I want to get a big piece of carnelian. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, don't put, you don't want crystals. But the reason I want it is, again, if you remember from my first video, part of my testimony is God appeared to me with bright orange skin. And in Revelation, it's bright orange skin like carnelian. So I want to have the carnelian stone. There's a few other things I want to put on there that just kind of rem remind me of my testimony, remind me of how my life is dedicated to Christ. So, but in the meantime, this is going to work. This is where I'm going to pray uh, my own personal devotional prayers. You'll notice that I did not put the Mary statue or the Joseph statue that I have on my desk on the altar. And that is because for now, kind of where I'm at in my journey, I don't want to, I don't want to get on my knees before Mary or Joseph, I, I kind of want to keep that as a special time separated for just Jesus. 
um, and any other prayers I have to the saints or if I'm doing my rosary, I'm going to do at my desk and I have those saint statues on my desk. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you enjoyed. I hope maybe you got some ideas uh, on how to build your own home altar if you don't have one yet. Um, yeah, and I will keep you guys posted as I add more things to the altar. Maybe we'll do a second home altar video as um, I kind of finish it up. But I hear uh, Wesley crying. The baby is crying downstairs. So I'm going to go figure out what she needs and help her out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, be blessed and we'll see you next time. <laughs>